Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Cubbies. It's Mr. Gary, and I'm so happy that you're joining me this week. This week, we have another exciting adventure in God's Word, the Bible. And we have Miss Kim, who's going to take us through that adventure. But before we get there, we need to do our opening. And so I need everybody on their feet as we do the Cubby theme song. So here we go. Good singing, boys and girls, and I saw you jumping for joy, and that reminds me we should all be jumping with joy, with joy because Christmas will soon be here, and that's when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, and that reminds me of a song. It's called Joy to the World, so I want everybody on your feet, and we're going to sing that with the Go Fish guys. Here we go. And heaven. J to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O to the Y. J to the O to the Y. I got the J. Good singing, boys and girls. Well, guess what? It's time to sing the Books of the Bible song. And I know you can do it because I've been listening to you all and you're doing such a great job. So I need you to stay on your feet. Or if you're not on your feet, 
Stand up and let's sing all 66 books of the Bible. Here we go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Great job, boys and girls. Well, it's time for our lesson. But before we actually get to our lesson, we need to head out to Apple Acres Farm and check in with Miss Kim. So Miss Kim, take it away. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Cubbies. I'm so glad to be here with you tonight. Is everybody ready to call our friend Cubby Bear? Let's call him together. One, two, Three, hey, Cubby! <laughs> hey, hey, hi, Miss Kim! Hi, Cubby! Hi, boys and girls! Hey, there's a song I hear you all sing every week, but I can't remember the words. It goes something like this. <laughs> I know that song. Cubbies, do you know the song that Cubby Bear wants us to sing? Uh -huh. I think you do. Uh -huh. It is. Oh, boys and girls, Miss Kim, would you sing that song for me? I really love the part about hopping and jumping. Oh, it gets me so happy. You know how much I like to hop and jump when I'm excited? <laughs> yes, we okay. do. All right, we're ready. Okay, here we go. We are a wanna cubbies. We're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us. That's why we sing this song. We hop. Because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us. He loves each girl and boy. <laughs> that was so fun. Oh, thank you, Miss Kim. You're welcome. Did you notice I hopped a lot? Yes. Oh, that was so fun. Oh, thanks, boys and girls. I love that song. Woo! Give your dog a bone. That's my favorite part. This old man came rolling home. <laughs> that is a funny song, Katie. Woof, woof. Yeah, I like the part about the <clears throat> dog and the bone. You know, sometimes Miss Mr. Timothy, you know Timothy, he gives me a bone when I do one of my dog tricks for him. We like singing our song too. If you come back next week, we can sing it again for you. <gasps> oh. 
would be so great. Hey, I'm going to go sing some more songs and maybe I'll get a bone. Okay? Bye, Miss Kim. Bye, Katie. Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Hey, I better go, too. I really enjoyed singing with you, Miss Kim. I got to go. All right, bye, boys and girls. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. It was fun to sing our Cubby song with Cubby Bear and Katie Colley, wasn't it? They like to hear our song. You know, we can sing songs to God. Did you know that? We can sing a song to God who likes to hear our singing, whether it's off key or just perfect. He loves to hear us sing. Singing is one way that we can worship God. Today, we're going to remember the things that we've already learned about worshiping God. We will also remember the ways the Israelites did and did not worship God. Remember, cubbies, that God told the Israelites to build a big, beautiful temple where they could go to worship him. But God gave the Israelites a warning, and it was very serious. He said, do not worship any other gods but me. If the Israelites did worship other gods, God said he would make them leave the special land he had given them. The beautiful temple would be burned down. That would be a very sad day. Cubbies, God is the one true God. That's our core truth this quarter. Can you say that with me? God is the one true God. Let's say that again. God is the one true God. God wanted the Israelites to worship him only. In our verse, Matthew 4, 10, Jesus says, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Let's say that one again. This is verse Matthew 4, 10. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only only. Cubbies, did the Israelites remember to obey God by worshiping only him? Sadly, they did not. They chose to worship many fake gods like Baal instead of the one true God. God sent Elijah and other prophets to remind the people to obey, but the people still did not listen. Finally, because the Israelites disobeyed, they had to leave the special land of Canaan that God had given them. An army took them far away to the land of Babylon. The army burned down their beautiful temple. It was a very sad time. But after 70 long years, God said the Israelites could come back to their special land of Canaan. God helped them to build the temple again. They were so happy. Cubbies, do you think the Israelites started obeying God all the time then? Well, they tried, but no matter how hard they tried, they could never obey God all the time. They had a problem with sin, just like we have a problem with sin. Remember our Bible verse, Romans 3.23? It says, all have sinned. And remember, sin is anything we think, say, or do that disobeys God. God still loved the Israelites. He promised that at just the right time, he would send a savior to save the Israelites and us too from our problem with sin. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and then he came alive again three days later. Those of us who trust him as Savior will be saved from sin. That means God will forgive all our sin, and one day we will be able to go to heaven and live there with Jesus forever. Once we trust Jesus as Savior, God helps us to worship and obey him. We worship God by showing love and respect to him because of how awesome he is. We can worship God anywhere and at any time. Cubbies, what are some of the ways you can worship God? Well, some of those ways we can see in this picture. One little boy is reading God's word and memorizing God's word. And the little girl is singing songs to God. 
and the other little boy is putting money in the offering plate, we can also offer a special gift to God. We can pray for others. We can be kind. We can help others. There are many ways that we can worship God. We worship God when we respect him and treat him as the awesome God he is. Cubbies, we're going to pray now. So everyone bow their head. Dear God, thank you so much for teaching us how we can worship you and how we can obey you and just how much you love us. Thank you for sending Jesus to take the punishment for our sin. Please help us to always remember what an awesome God you are and to remind us of all the different ways that we can worship you every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, have a great week, Cubbies, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks, Miss Kim. What a great lesson. Well, boys and girls, we need to go over our verse just a couple times so we can make sure that you're ready to say them to mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever's helping you. So let's go over our verse a few times. So say it along with me. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4.10. Let's say that again. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4.10. I forgot to count down that time. Okay, on the count of three, let's say it all together one more time. One, two, three. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4.10. Very good. Well, Cubbies, it's time for you to say your verse, just like we did, to your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. And then go over your lesson with them in your book. And then mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, if you'd please sign off in their handbook that they completed that and date it, we would greatly appreciate it. Well, boys and girls, that's all for this episode of Cubbies. But until next time, I'll see you right back here. And never forget, Jesus loves you and so do we. Bye.